right? So somebody may have said you don't have any friends, right? They may have said you don't have any friends. So even if you had imaginary friends when you were little, and I'm serious when I'm saying this, right? That could have also tapped into your gifts of seeing things that other people didn't want you to see. So source is saying to you, know what your, know what your demons are. Know what your demons are, right? Because... Um, whether you accept offers or not, you hear people say new levels, new devils. It's actually the same devils, same demons in different forms, shape-shifting, right? And if you don't know what yours are, then it's easy, easy to throw you off guard. Here's the snake again, python spirit again. The spirit of lying. So it is a bait and switch. It's a bait and switch. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, somebody's offering you stuff and you all excited and go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to be a part of such and such, right? <laughs> and then you get there, you're like, what the heck is this, <laughs> right? What the heck is this? Right, so here we have the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Wands. Here we also have the Knight of Swords. Here we have the Magician card. Here we have the Six of Swords and also the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so here we have the Ten of Swords. I do see booked and busy and not burdened at all, you know, by it. But again, like I said, um, yeah, booked and busy. So um, it's like you and somebody. Okay, so you have a lot of opportunities coming your way, Aquarius, right? So it's like you and somebody are two different chapters of your lives, right? So you are always, you're all the way in, right? You're saying, okay, I'm always, I'm all the way in the fire inside of you, right? So you're all the way in, like somebody has a foot out and a foot in. You know what I'm talking about? It's like, um, if I had, can I like put like a, kind of comedic spin on it like a person as we like what movie was this i'm gonna get you sucker i think that was the name of the movie with a guy he was like yeah 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 he was talking about all of this this and that and so on and so forth and when they panned the camera around then he was like okay this guy's not really living the, they not you know you know so again there's a bait and switch here going on um and source is saying, trying to make you booked and busy and not burden at all. Hey, we also have the Queen of Wands here. Um, so I definitely feel like um, someone is definitely trying to test you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, Aquarius. But again, you're not under their test at all, at all, right? This is not a competition. Some people feel like they need some kind of friction to prove a point here. Let them look in the mirror and prove a point. That has nothing to do with you. Here's the Magician card, right? Because it really is the setup in all of this is to take your power. The magician card, right? Connects us to power. Connects us to the initiator. So someone is definitely initiating something, right? Um, there's a um, create, you know, creative and also logical way. But it's create, what, what it's actually creating is confusion, right? Confusion in, dis, in a disorganized mind. So it's like almost like a person who is like trying to take your power and drive you crazy. Since water is kicking off again, <laughs> water keeps coming out in you, you guys, uh, cards, Aquarius. Here we have the six and five. It's a game. It's a game. It's a game of chess. It's a game of chess. It's a game of chess. Like I said, to drive you crazy, Aquarius, you're not interested at all. At all. When I say at all, that's an understatement at all. It's a it's a game. It's a game. You're moving through a rite of passage. But so are they. Is the ace of pentacles here? Um, ace of pentacles. So like I said, you got some you got something new coming across. Um, and you're planting seeds, right? You're planting seeds. You are uh Man, there's so many messages that's coming down for you, all Aquarius. It's not even funny. Hmm. 
Um, all I can tell you, Aquarius, is find out for real. And I'm, I'm serious when I say this, for real. Find out... Um, what your temptations are. Fine, you don't even have to overthink this because you already know. This is not even something you need to overthink. What, what's your temptation? What would cause you to operate in the flesh? What would cause you to operate in the flesh? Because somebody is not telling you something, but you already know. You already know. You already know, Aquarius. Let me see. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Hmm. <laughs> So you can't be indecisive. Um, yeah. You can't be indecisive, Aquarius, about moving forward on your journey. On your journey. If you were on en route somewhere, you know, Aquarius, like I feel like somebody could have been en route into a new job that you were all excited. You were doing a handstand. You were all excited about this new job. And here they come offering you something, right? Because Because they're um, waking up to, this is waking up to um, just your creativity, Aquarius, right? It, it just keeps coming out in your cards that people are offering something to you, Aquarius. Um, I don't, I'm not, it's, it's not even that they, they, um, let me see. Um, Right, like that, I remember doing a reading for you all that was telling you all there's some people who are frustrated at this point. They're very passionate, just very scattered. Um, you know, some people operated in haste when it came to you, Aquarius. And that's what I'm saying. You're, you're heavy on some people's minds right now. Some people jumped to some conclusions and didn't know who they were dealing with. And I'm not saying this for anybody's egotistical purposes whatsoever. People jump to conclusions about you all, all the time. When they first meet you, you may have on one purple shoe and one orange shoe, and they may already made a deter determination that Aquarius, they just off their rocker, right? They just, they stuck between floors, something else is going on. So people really jump to some conclusions about you all, Aquarius. And it's unfortunate, but um, like I said before, they um they were just wrong. I mean, like I said, they were just wrong. I mean, it's just no other word to say. They were just wrong. They were just they were just you know wrong. Um, and for you to even go backwards, like I said, your ancestors are saying continue moving forward. For you to go backwards, Aquarius, like I'm telling you, you'd be putting yourself in a complete nightmare for real. You might as well just go go ahead and join the cast of Nightmare on Elm Street, and that's for real. So, but to go back. Mm -mm. Somebody grossly misjudged you. Here we have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, some people grossly misjudged you. Like I said, and they really want you to come back into this. But see, like right here, it's not a whole lot of growth here. See this right here? It's not a lot of growth here. That's like really, like I said, joining the, the cast of Nightmare on Elm Street. I mean, at least you would get a check if you was in the movie. <laughs> but this one, you wouldn't get one. You have a lot of great ideas. And a lot of people are watching, right? So here we have the Eight of Swords. But it would be a form of self-sabotage. 
even if people are not thinking clearly in their own mind, and if you can see it as a leader, Aquarius, that it would be a karmic situation for you to go into, do yourself and do them a favor. Even if people are upset, um, you know, people are upset because they can't see what you see, Aquarius. And people's like, uh-huh, because it would seem like a premature blessing, you know, that would really feel like a burden to you. It would feel like, oh, okay, I'm not ready. You know how people would praise, like, okay, you know, I just want that one big shot. I just want that. And you, if you already know and you let people talk you into something that you feel like, nah, I think I feel like Source has something different for me. That's in all humility. Like, okay, I feel like Source has something different. It may make people upset. It may make them frustrated, want to burn you, all of these other things. But this is what it's really about. It's like operating in humility. Like really saying to Source, Source, help me with this. You know, help me with some clarity here so that you don't make wrong decisions about things. Don't let other people talk you into something that Source is saying, mm mm here we have the three of wands here. So, yeah, I see you taking a leap of faith forward. I don't see you going backwards to something, right? Yeah, I don't see you going backwards to something. You, if somebody got to talk somebody into taking another look at you, Aquarius, you don't want them to look at you anymore. Like, close your eyes, <laughs> for real. Because this is where you are right here. It's booked and busy, not burdened at all. So, here we have King of Cups. And that's why you can make a clear and, you know, clear decisions about things. Very wise. You're compassionate towards people. You know, and whatever situation they in or going through or whatever, but no, mm -mm. you already just know it's just a it, it's just not a good situation for you at all. It wouldn't be a good situation for you because I feel like some some people really, I mean, they really struggling right now. The word that's coming in my mind is hot water. Like some people are in hot water. Like what the heck were they thinking? What was going on in their life? They didn't see something, right? But again, the, yeah. You're not joining people in their own personal hell. That's a that's a, a pool of confusion. Nuh-uh. Nope. Nope, nope, and nope. So, yeah. Let's see what else we got going on here, Aquarius. Goody, 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 goody. Yeah, that, that would just a complete, like, it would be so confusing for you to just be, like, like, like I said, mm -mm. somebody is definitely trying to take your power, Aquarius. They're trying to take your, your power away from you. In some way, shape, form, or fashion... Yeah. Now, somebody is definitely trying to extinguish your flames, Aquarius. Big time. You're not indecisive about that. You're dealing with some energies that are very aggressive, very impulsive, very competitive energies. These are the energies that you're dealing with. They're in survival mode. Schedule a vacation, Aquarius. Let go and let God. You are in answered prayer. Close out the cycle in love. Ask for source for clarity. You have the gift of telepathy. So document your day and night dreams. Yes, yeah, so the source definitely wants you to, because uh, a lot of messages are going to come through your dreams. Leave them behind. That's right. You're dealing with some energies that's in their own personal Hades. Make a list of pros and cons. For those of you all who just want clarity, sometimes it's not as clear as people think. You know, sometimes, and, and I really don't want you all to give yourselves a headache. Like, for real, start documenting your dreams. And if you a person says, well, I haven't remembered my dreams in years. Okay, what are those first thoughts that pop up in your head when you first wake up? What are those disquiet yourself when you first wake up, whether you work night shift, day shift, midday shift, or whatever? But think of what, what are those thoughts that come to your mind? I don't care how negative they seem because they're all messages that's coming through to you. So it's time to expand your brand. So your ex wants to return, whoever the ex is. But your new home awaits, new love awaits. So dance around your home as if no one is watching. Somebody never stopped loving you. You are protected and loved. It's time to release the burden. One yes from God is all that you need, and you got the one yes. Right? Somebody's still telling lies about you, but you know how that goes, you know? People, just like I said, the ego out of control, still telling lies. Child, it don't even really matter what they're saying. They could say that you was a horse. <laughs> they wouldn't matter what they're saying about you. Y'all, for real, it don't really matter. They can say that you, that you, um, whatever. You know what? They, they can say anything. They can say you look like a donkey. It wouldn't even matter. Just say hee-haw. <laughs> it wouldn't matter. You're not going backwards. They still telling lies. Child, it wouldn't matter what they said. 
let's see what else, Aquarius. Let's see what else, Aquarius. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Oh, child. Mm -mm -mm. Like I said, you're just dealing with some energies that's in survival mode. So they'll say whatever to whomever, you know, to just show show favor. But again, what they're trying to do is take your power away from you, all Aquarius. This magician card right there. And that power would be, like I said before, you know, your creative and just your logical way of thinking. You're dealing with some, and, and just like, the, and, uh, you know, an initiator, right? So they would, they would initiate, they would start an argument with you. Like I said, bait and switch. You're not attracted to that. That's a major turn off. Extraordinary. There's a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored. That's right. You're extraordinary. That's right. That deserves to be honored. So, yeah, you're not interested in people who are in this power struggle. Like, what? Shall I go talk to the mirror about all of that? That's mirror work. That's mirror work, right? People sitting somewhere studying you, all Aquarius, trying looking at you as competition. How could I take out the competition? Mm -mm -mm. Still that worldly mind. Only competition is in the mirror. It's not you, Aquarius. Yeah, so stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Child, they want to argue this six and six is seven hundred and twenty-five. You be like, you know what? You right. <laughs> you are absolutely right. I don't care what kind of math you doing. I don't even go if you to put a multiplication, division, subtraction, or addition. It don't even really matter. I don't care if you're doing algebraic expressions. I don't care what you're doing. You right. <laughs> you just that's the frequency that you want. Like, how you are, look, you over here in the land of milk and butter. 25, like the silk off one's flesh, I am the giver. I am your eternal. That's right. Life is good. Life is good. So, child, let them go study somebody else. You ain't the one. You have removed yourself from the equation. You have removed yourself from the equation. You are not interested in anything that they're selling. Companionship. Giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. What I say? Okay, Aquarius? Yeah, you got a memory like an elephant. And so do they. But here's the difference. is They also have a memory like an elephant too. But for them, like I said, it's a bait and switch. So... There is no conversation. Like I said before, snake energy, right? A lying spirit. You refuse to be confused by somebody else who is confused about the truth. And we talk about source. But there it is. That's it. You refuse to be confused. They act like they want to get into a healthy, uh, like a healthy debate. You're not interested. <laughs> Take my name off the list. <laughs> take my name off the list don't invite me i ain't coming okay don't invite me work through your fears yeah so somebody is like i said somebody is definitely um somebody is obsessed obsession they're very passionate self-reliant very stubborn you know dominant right very passionate very resourceful let me see if we can compare our notes to Aquarius's notes. Hmm. Let's see if this is. Listen, go go to somebody else. You, you're not interested at all. Let's see. Go to somebody else. You're not interested. Let them be the star of the show. Everybody has everybody has a purpose, Aquarius, right? And so, like I said, they would be arguing with themselves. Your only response is no comment. <laughs> no comment. No comment. No comments. No comments. I have the power to change my life for the better. And that's what you're doing. Changing your life for the better. Mm -mm -mm. People are trip. But anyway, like I said before, Aquarius, you're um you're you're, um, some people are paying a heavy price, Aquarius, and take only what resonates with you, but people are paying a heavy price um, for missing something, 
you know, as far as you're concerned. And um, some energies are very, very passionate. Like I said before, I think a lot of people kind of sort of forget when Pluto goes retrograde. Pluto is the death rebirth planet. It's the outermost planet. It's that planet where all hell seems like it's breaking loose, but you're going through a metamorphosis. You're going through a power. It's the planet of power, transformation. And some people just don't want, they want to take your power. They want to stop your your ability to inspire people, motivate people, you know, give people hope. You're not their savior. We are no, nobody is anybody's savior out here. You can help people to find the light within themselves. You can empower, you can motivate people, you can add clarity. And there are some energies that really want to take your power away from you. So it's like, okay, if I can't have Aquarius, then nobody will. And so I'm going to use, I'm going to pull out all the stops and do whatever I can to do that. But Aquarius is saying, source is saying to you, um, so no, you're not falling for the bait and switch at all. You're not falling for the bait and switch. You are heavy, heavy, heavy on some people's minds. They're cross-watching this channel, cross-watching whoever else is doing Aquarius. They're looking and paying attention to stuff. They can't even focus on their own zodiac sign because they're so busy focusing on you, Aquarius. And so, like I said before, you you um, somebody has dealt with some major master manipulation in the past where people were able to stress you out, burn you out, get you into a state of confusion and all of that stuff. But, but source, right? But source. Yeah, so, um, yeah, you're not looking for people's acceptance and approval. Um, so it's the same, just like I said, your ancestors are all around you helping you. Just continue to pray for clarity because Source is giving you the clarity. Document your dreams, night, daydreams, deja vu, premonition, precognition, all the clairs, clairvoyance, claircognizes, clairsentience, clairaudience. Pay attention to all of that. So, and and keep it close to the cuff because people will say, you know, will try to question your mental health. So you talking to one person, you don't know that they connected to something else. So be, you know, protect your energy, Aquarius. That's what I have for you. Uh, and so, like I said, add some structure to your ideas. Like, you know, get serious about being, you know, authoritative, you know, because um, you're definitely dealing with some energies who are disorganized, who are very stern, who is very, very inflexible and just that thing, and you can't be indecisive about it. You can't be indecisive about, you know, what you're giving birth to this abundance and prosperity. So this is something where you're saying, you know, you, um, you're creating something, you're procreating something. This is, this came out of, you know, you and, um, you know, this came from you tapping into the living water within yourself. And so now you're giving birth to abundance and prosperity. You can't be ashamed or embarrassed of, you know, what you're, you know, people, are, people always attack people, you know, who they feel like, okay, are, you know, mentally, they feel like people are mentally unstable. Isn't that horrible it's for other human beings to do that to each other? But I mean, it happens, you know what I'm saying? So, so it's the same, pray for yourself. You know, get around some warm spirited energies of people who are praying for you. But I feel like all of this fire right here, you all came from a long line of prayer warriors. And that's the test to put you in predatory energies. And there's no when to close out cycles. You prayed your way to this right here. King of Wands, you prayed your way to this. Right. And unfortunately, there are some some energies. They don't care what you went through. They don't. They really don't. So you better care. That's what I have for you. And I will see you all. Um, in the next reading, Aquarius, let's get you a number and let's close it out. Get you a number and one last oracle card and let's go ahead and close it out. So, zero, zero, zero. I am a creator. You are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can create. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. You add Z, these three zeros behind any number, it triples the value. So like I said before, like I said in previous readings, Aquarius, now you know your worth, triple that. Add tax, you, you tripled. It just, the, it, you know, it just keeps going up, right? So like I said, source already paid the, paid the cost for you to be where you are right now. Let me see what else, um, and then last but not least, last but not least, yeah, last but not least. 
And last but not least, Aquarius. Yeah, don't get frustrated. Don't don't get frustrated on whatever it is you prayed for because you're you're so close, Aquarius. Remember, there are energies that are just determined to pull you back into that nine of wands. Like they determined to pull you back into. Um, yeah, determined to pull you back into some stuff like you know trying to delay, like trying to pull you back with fear, doubt, uncertainty, whatever. Here's growth. I'm a work in progress. This is affirmations for growth. I release old habits and create new trails. Each day I'm getting better. I'm in charge of the direction of my life. I'm not defined by my past. I grow through my struggles. Roadblocks create opportunity. Yeah. So yeah, there was definitely some energies that will allow to try to use your past against you because they're under some kind of test themselves. And you have to be okay. I mean, for real, you have to be like, okay, whatever. General reading. Take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. But I don't even feel like you need a personal reading for real, Aquarius, because I'm looking at your cards here, and I feel like you already got it. Like, I've seen, I've read your comments. I see what you all are saying. So, you know, and I don't know you all personally. So I know, I know that you all have been through the fire, and you've come out on the other side. And there's energies that want you to come back into situations where there just wasn't a whole lot of growth, whether it's your family situations, whether it was... You know, going, whatever, whatever, right? Like I said before, that Python spirit, y'all already know what's up. That's what I have for you, and I will see you all in the next reading. All right? Bye. Oh, yeah, Aquarius, the moon is in Leo, right? I did tell you all that the moon is the first quarter moon in Leo, right? Here are the questions. Do you connect to your core and your center daily? The only question you want to ask yourself as the moon is moving into Leo is... Um... And you can, you know, there's uh, gemstones and crystals that connect you with that, right? Citrine is really, really good for that. Burning candles, you know, making a fire, tossing things into a burning bowl. Go back to just asking yourself this one question when the moon moves into Leo. Did I feel appreciated by these energies? That's it. That's the only question you need to ask yourself. Did you feel appreciated? This is not about whether they felt appreciated by you because now that's outside of your vault door. You already made it to your throne. They're already watching. Did you feel appreciated by them? Answer is no. For some of you all, it's kind of like weighing the pros and cons. But So you're going to have to sit down and put together a list. Where's the, um, yeah, you're going to have to put together a list. Put together a list. That's how you take your power back. When I put together my own list and I start like meticulously looking through my list and analyzing my list, when I weigh the pros and cons, based on your best recollection, that's why I talk about journaling so much, but based on your best recollection, some of it's just going to be a flat out no. It's, I mean, for real, some of y'all, it's going to be so much easier than before. You're going to be like, you know what? The answer is no. It's just, just the thought of it. I don't even need to put together a list, right? So the first question is, do you connect to your core, comma, your center daily? Second question is, how do you express your creative side? Third question is, is your current wardrobe really expressing who you are? Fourth is, do you protect your energy and time by politely saying no to requests and invitations that are not aligned to your being? And then last but not least is, could you create more time and space for self-exploration and self-expression? All right, that's what I have for you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.